Hey everybody, Jerry here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this unique style industrial uh, table lamp with a water valve switch. Pretty cool. Stick around. For today's project, I actually purchased almost all the supplies from my local home center. Uh, all the black pipe you see here that I, I did purchase. Um, what I'm doing right now is putting together the uh, legs that are going to be for the lamp. There's four legs uh, with just 90s and the 90s are just going to act as the feet uh, for the lamp. Uh, the pipe thread that I'm putting in there on all the pipe fittings is really, it's not to sealing anything, it's just to um, lock the pipe joints in place. Um, some of them, to get the proper alignment, uh, they'll just be snug. And so for an added protection, um, I'm adding the, the pipe thread sealant to all of the joints just to lock them in place once the lamp is all put together. So here's one end of the um, lamp uh, leg section, and then it's going to be uh, tied together by a cross section. And here comes the cross section right now. This piece right here that's going in, it's going to go in the middle of the cross section, has a hole drilled in the bottom of it and the hole is for the electrical cord that we will run uh, later for the lamp wiring. Just putting the, uh, the whole leg, our base assembly together and pretty much uh, the base is all set. Now we can start building up from here. A 3 inch pipe uh, piece will start and then this is another 90 and the 90 uh, section coming off will be for our switch and just a decorative water valve later on. Six inch piece and then we're going to go with another T but this T has a three quarter inch uh, leg coming off of it and it's for a again a decorative uh, gauge that we're going to put on the lamp and this is just pure uh, purely for decoration. It ha it has no function whatsoever. I just thought it would be really cool uh, accent to the lamp to having a, kind of like a gauge sitting off the side of it and make it look like it's doing something. Kind of a view of the lamp, how it's coming together. Another six inch piece and then on the top we'll actually start our bend over uh, and then we'll start working on our light section. So this is another 90, but the, this 90 actually has a thread on one side, a female on one side, and a male on the other. This is just going to be a half inch adapter. And then the other 90. You kind of see how everything's coming together. I'm just using this pipe here just to kind of line everything up. Actually, it's going to be easier to work on it in this position right here. And what this piece is, this is a half inch to three eighths adapter, and then a three eighths to quarter inch. And then I was able to find a brass piece as a quarter inch pipe thread to the same size thread that the lamp socket is going to use. So we'll be able to screw the lamp socket right to the uh, stand without having any, you know, trying to glue it or anything like that. So it was kind of nice to be able to find an adapter that the uh, lamp socket will actually screw into. Now we're going to install our cord, and um, it's just a straight shot with a bend on the top, and I thought it'd be a lot easier than it really was. Um, I actually had to go back and, you know, disassemble part of the lamp to fish the cord through, so I recommend if you do build this project. Yeah, you kind of start fishing your uh, cord through as you're building it up. Now you can see here I've already wired in the lamp socket and attached it and threaded, threaded it right onto that brass piece that we installed. What I've done here is I've kind of fished our wire out and I'm actually uh, soldering in a water valve switch that I bought off online. I actually ordered it off of Amazon, it's about $20. But it has a rotary switch inside the water valve, so it's a it's an actual water valve that um, uh, the company that I purchased from actually wired in a rotary switch, so you can use it as your on-off switch for the lamp. 
and I put the heat shrink over the soldered connection. I'm just heat shrinking the pieces together now, and I'll fish the wire back into the uh, the pipe frame and screw on the water valve. And just like that. And then the next piece is going on is actually a water spigot. Um, again, this is just pure for decoration. Uh, I thought it would be kind of a neat, uh, nice piece to put on there. Kind of imitate that this is actually uh, for water. Uh, now I'm just uh, installing the electrical plug on the very end of the cord. Fish the wire through, making the connection, button everything up. And yeah, the, the lamp is pretty much done. Uh, all the wiring is complete. We'll install the bomb. Uh, I'll plug it in and we'll try it out. Pretty neat. Water valve actually switch works really, really well in this situation. I, th I think it turned out great. So yeah, this one's a wrap. Turned out pretty nice. If you like this project, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading new videos all the time. Uh, if you want a detailed list of all the components that I use to create today's project, uh, please subscribe to my channel and email me and I'll be glad to send you a list of all the uh, uh, items that I used. And like always guys, remember, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. All right, take care. See ya.